I worked on the plot at Bletchley Park of, of the oceans and seas of the whole world in which we were plotting our allied, our own navy and the allied navies and all the enemy shipping. Um, and naturally we had special people, those of us working on the plot, who were at sea and in danger and we knew it because of the position, our position and the fact that we were receiving signals from U-boats and other German shipping, we knew when one of our ships had been sunk, which one. And if it was somebody, or one of the ships on which one of us had somebody special, in family or friend, we were naturally devastated. And there was an agreement with the Admiralty. We had no idea then how it was how it was achieved, that they would let us know personally if that person was on the survivors list. It happened to me, and it happened to some of the other wrens on watch. I don't remember an awful lot about my interview except he said did I know any German? And I said, no, well, it might be helpful to know a few words. So I, I went back to school and had a, a few lessons. I think sort of learnt to count in the days of the week and a few odd things like that. Um, there was one occasion when I went up to London and only to find that uh, outside the um, train station everybody was lying on the ground. So I thought, well, I'd better lie on the ground as well. And just as well we did because it was a doodlebug. And it exploded, fortunately, a couple of miles away, so we were all right. But that was the sort of life that one had to live with. But then um, on days when London wasn't being bombed, we could go to um, cinemas and theatres and concerts, art galleries, whatever was open, depending on the state of war. I, I never told my husband exactly what I, we were doing at Bletchley during the war. Um, you were sworn to secrecy. Um, you signed the Official Secrets Act. You couldn't tell anybody. And I was really horrified when he came home carrying this book um, set, which set out what had, had been going on here. And he said, well, now will you tell me what you did in the war? And I said, no. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> and I stuck to it until I found out that um, other people were talking about Bletchley. But I don't think, it, I think a lot of us actually didn't really like doing it. And we kept rather quiet.